number of new daily COVID-19 infections in Malaysia has once again exceeded the 9,000 mark, with 9,117 cases reported on Saturday, compared to 7,234 cases a day earlier. Penam ribu tujuh puluh lima kes baru COVID-19 dilaporkan hari ini menjadikan angka harian itu yang tertinggi sejak pandemik melanda negara ini. Ia mengatasi rekod kes baru 30 Januari lalu lima ribu tujuh ratus dua puluh lapan kes. Kes kematian turut tinggi dengan empat puluh enam kes dilaporkan menjadikan jumlah maut dua ribu empat puluh orang. Coronavirus disease 2019 is called COVID-19. It's a contagious disease caused by a virus, the severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus. The first known case was identified in Wuhan, China, in December 2019. The disease spread worldwide, leading to the COVID-19 pandemic. COVID-19 hit in our country since 2019. There are many changes happening when our country is attacked by a disease that is difficult to discover. The saddest news is a group of people who lost their family members due to COVID-19 and did not have time to take the vaccine provided by the government. not effect in our country. It was globalization effect. Massive drops in working hours due to COVID-19 crisis have had a devastating effect on jobs and incomes in Asia and the Pacific, according to a new report by the International Labour Organization. Estimates the economic backlash of the COVID-19 pandemic wipe out some 81 million jobs in 2020. In nearly all economies with elevable quarterly data for 2020, employment level contracted compared to 2019. The impact of the crisis has been foraging with under unemployment such as millions of workers are asked to work in reduced hours or no hours at all. Overall, working hours in Asia and the Pacific decreased by an estimate 15.2% in the second quarter and by 10.7% in the third quarter of 2020. Working hour losses are also influenced by the millions of persons moving outside the labor force or into unemployment as job creation in the region collapse. Using available quarterly data, the report provides a preliminary estimate that the religion unemployment rate could increase from 4.4% in 2019 to somewhere between 5.2% and 5.7% in 2020. For students about to graduate from secondary school, there was a higher tendency recorded for students who did not attend online classes to also fail to register for their SPM examinations. The World Bank forecasted that learning loss will result in learning disparity, which is likely to have implications on employment opportunities and potential and lower income earnings for these students in the new future. Adding to that, it was predicted that learning losses would be worse in countries with lower degrees of technological preparedness. Many students in Malaysia had insufficient access to internet and internet-enabled devices as a result could not attend all of their online classes. In more extreme cases, such as that of the Orang Asli children, teachers had to send physical worksheets 
with their students but were unable to conduct proper assessments due to a lack of resources.